Now, here's more of the Brian Beatty Real Estate Show on The Big Talker, 1250 WTMA. Welcome back, Charlton, to the Brian Beatty Real Estate Show here on The Big Talker, 1250 WTMA and WTMA.com. I I just left this program uh, talking about investing in real estate and really talked about things from the seller's perspective. We're going to switch gears and we're going to talk about investing in real estate from a buyer perspective. How do you find properties to invest in? What do you need to know and what do you need to... Uh, you know, do in order to prepare to get into real estate investments. What do the flip properties look like? You know, how do the numbers work? What do the buy and hold properties look like? Uh, how do we cash flow them? What are some things to watch out for? Um, how do we get access to capital? You know, we always hear about all these people that are um, flipping tons of properties, and here's a little secret: they're not using their own money. Uh, they use hard money in many instances. Some people use their own money, of course, but you don't have to. And so I want to talk about how to break into real estate investing and start building your wealth. You know, the majority of millionaires in America got there by being wealthy in real estate. So the other side of the coin here is that maybe you don't want to get into the nitty gritty of flipping properties or being a property manager and holding all these homes. Well, just be the bank. If you have cash, you can be the hard money. Give it to somebody else with the real estate experience. Get your return on investment and do very little work for it. I do that as well. So let me, let's me let start there. Let's start there because I think a lot of people have a lot of questions about how to break into flipping real real property and, and buying and holding and, and just getting into the game. Um, and if you want to talk to me about this off air, you know, if you're thinking about getting into real estate investments, you know, even if you say, you know, hey, Brian, I don't, you know, it's not like I have $250,000 to go out there and buy a rental property. $10,000 will get you into flipping real estate. There are plenty of programs out there that I can tell you about that that don't necessitate you needing any money. It's kind of crazy, but it works. It's worked for me on both sides. Um, so if you want to get in contact with me and talk with me about that, my number is 843-400-8009. That's my cell phone. You can call or text me. Uh, obviously, that doesn't have anything to do with the phone number for this program, uh, that's just my personal cell phone, 843-400-8009. Or go to my website, listingsincharleston.com. That's listingsincharleston.com. And remember, I'm offering some uh, some literature here for those of you interested in investing in real estate. I've got 101 steps to flipping a property, the must-dos and the should-dos when flipping a home, and the ultimate beginner's guide to investing in real estate. So uh, call me, text me, 843-400-8009. You can send an email to brian at brianbeattyteam.com and I can uh, get you the information that way as well. So let's talk about the financing portion of it first because then we can get into flipping and buying and holding and all that fun stuff. But um, several years ago, really uh, four years ago, I started to see the market really kind of increase. I saw uh, inventory continuing to go down. Prices were going up um, and a lot of investors were in the market. And as it as more and more investors get into the market and and more and more buyers are purchasing property at top dollar, it makes it harder for the investors to find the properties with a bunch of meat on the bone. You know, the, the, the deals from sellers that are willing to sell the property for uh, low prices. And so, you know, before I go any further, I, I really do need you guys to understand that, you know, obviously my day job is a real estate agent. I help people buy and sell real estate at the best deal possible, getting sellers the most money possible, helping buyers purchase property at the best deal in terms possible. What I'm talking about right now is is making money in real estate through real estate investments. So excuse me if I say something like, the lower you can get a property for, the better. I'm not trying to cheat a seller out of money here. I'm trying to grow my real estate portfolio. And if they're going to accept a $50,000 offer on a $100,000 house, that's a huge win. So um, so I just wanted to put that out there because, you know, I, I don't want there to be any cross lines or cross messages here. Um, so as it relates to financing, let's, let's get back on track. A few years ago, I saw that the market was, uh, really just changing, um, at a, at a rapid pace. And so rather than going and fighting for the deals with smaller margins, I said, you know what? I'm going to be the bank. I'll let these other investors come to me and borrow the money and I'll just make my money on the back end. So I had, you know, this obviously requires cash on hand. And so I would lend cash to investors 
And they would pay me a small portion up front, and then they would pay me high interest monthly payments on that loan for a set period of time. And if they didn't sell their home within that set period of time, the interest rate would increase because they are then they are financially incentivized to sell their property. Um, and then once they sell it or once they refinance it into their own name, I get paid off, I get my money back, and I've gotten the profit, which is all profit because there's no expense involved, uh, of earning a little bit of money up front at closing and then earning those monthly interest-only payments. And so a typical deal would go something like this. You find a $100,000 property. I'm going to charge you between three and four points at closing. A point is equal to 1% of the purchase price. So in this instance, let's say that I charged them four points at closing. And then for the first three months that they were borrowing money, I was charging them 12% interest. And then after three months, I was charging them 15% interest. So at 4%, obviously I'm getting $4,000 at closing. And then at 12%, I'm getting $1,000 a month. Obviously at $1,500, it goes up a little bit to $1,250 a month. And so let me let me help you guys better understand that. If you don't have, you know, sums of cash that you can lend to investors, but you have $4,000 plus the ability to pay, uh, you know, some monthly payments on an investment property, you could go and find a property that needs let's say you buy it for $50,000 and it needs $50,000 worth of work. And you can sell it for 160. Follow me on the math here. You borrow $100,000, which is the cost of the house and the cost to renovate it. It's a $100,000 loan. It costs you $4,000 up front, and then it's going to cost you $1,000 a month. Let's say you can flip that property in three months. You sell it for $160. Well, by the time you back out some commission and some closing costs and the cost of borrowing the money, Let's say that number comes out to $140,000. Tell me where else you can go and make $40,000 in three months by using $7,000. Those are real examples. I've done it many a time. I used my own money, so I got to save that $7,000, which was the 4% down plus three months worth of $1,000 payments. But that's an example of how you get into flipping real estate. You don't need a hundred grand; you need seven grand. And seven thousand dollars is not a, a huge sum of money to get into something like flipping real estate. So that's just one way of doing it. Now, of course, you can do it a slightly other way, where you, as the person that finds the deal, you're going to do all the work. You're going to go and you're going to find the deal. You're going to analyze the deal. You're going to manage the project. You're going to hire a real estate agent. You're going to oversee everything. And you're going to split the profit with the investor. So the investor is going to give you the money. They're going to be the money man. And you're going to be the work person. (laughs) I don't know what the the term is for the work person. But you're going to do all the work. And then you guys are going to split the profit. And the longer it takes, the, the more profit they are going to keep. Because they want to return on their investment. That's a way to get into flipping real estate with zero money. How does that sound? I can teach you how to do these things. But when I'm flipping a property, and and I'm telling you right now that I'm looking for multiple properties to flip right now, the the market is uh, ripe for it. Uh, There are some sellers out there that are pretty darn confused about what's going on with this market. Uh, They are just, they're they're languishing. Agents are not giving them the service, the attention, the marketing, uh, the skill that they deserve in order to get them sold. Some sellers, frankly, just need to sell. They don't have time to wait. They don't have time to dabble. They don't have time to be you know, a real estate agent skinny pig on what's going to work and not work from a marketing perspective. They need to get their house sold. And I can be that solution for people because I can come in and make them an offer. And so long as the numbers work out, then we've got a deal. We close and everybody's happy. Um, and I'm seeing more and more of these deals coming across my desk, partly because I'm looking for them. 
But I'll, I'll tell you this, if you're thinking about investing in real estate, I have more deals than I can handle right now, but I'm always looking for better deals than what I have. That's what every good investor is going to do. They're always going to look for better deals, more deals. So if you want a, a piece of the pie, so to speak, I have deals. I have deals that you can get into right now. Um, if you want to buy and hold properties, it's a bit of a different strategy because now we're looking at return on investment over the long term by using things like you know your cash on cash return. If you're, let's just say you buy a house and it's a hundred thousand dollars. Well, for me personally, if I'm going to buy a property and I'm going to rent it out, I need at least a ten percent, at least in this market, I need a ten percent return on my my investment. Every year, at the end of the year, after all the bills are paid in association with that property, I need to be $10,000 richer. And I'm talking taxes, insurance, maintenance, uh, the time it would take to find a tenant, all of those things, every single little thing. I need $10,000 after that in order for that to qualify as an investment property for me. I can show you guys how to go through this process uh, with ease. And if you'd like a jump start on that, then contact me and I'll give you one of these guides or all of these guides um, so that you can start educating yourself. That is the first step. If you want to get into real estate investing, the first thing you need to do is understand it. And then you need to align yourself with somebody that understands it better than you do, that has access to the deals, that has access to the workers that can renovate the properties, that has access to the, the systems that can actually help you sell the house once all the work is done. You know, beginning with the end in mind, developing your exit strategy. All of these things are incredibly important when we're talking about investing in real estate because you can buy it and you can renovate it, but if you can't sell it for what you thought you could sell it for, then it's a fail. It's a flop. It's not a flip. And you have to be careful about that. You really have to watch your partners um, as it relates to real estate investing. So if you'd like more information on that, you want copies of these guides, 101 Steps to Flipping a Property, the must-dos and the should-dos of flipping a property and the ultimate beginner's guide to investing in real estate, call me or text me. My cell phone number is 843-400-8009. That's 843-400-8009. Or go to listingsincharleston.com. That's listingsincharleston.com. Stick around. We've got a lot more to talk about as the Brian Beatty Real Estate Show continues on the Big Talker 1250 WTMA and WTMA.com. Have a real estate question? Ask Brian Beatty. Send him an email, lowcountryhomesales at gmail.com. The Brian Beatty Real Estate Show is on 1250 WTMA.